Hey everybody, it is Victoria Thomas in Agent Development. I am here with Maddie, um, who is our social media specialist. And for today's Social Media Monday, Maddie is going to talk about, that's a lot of M, Social Media Monday with Maddie. Um, she's going to talk to you guys about Instagram guides. Um, as always, everyone is muted. If you have any questions, feel free to type them in the chat box and I will monitor those as we go. So if you're ready, Maddie, I am ready. Good morning, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, like Victoria said, I'm going to talk a little bit about Instagram guides, um, which are a feature in Instagram that I think are um, really underutilized, but that you know you can do so much with. Um, so let's go ahead and dive in. So first, what are Instagram guides? Uh, so Instagram guides are a feature of Instagram that gives you an easier way to share helpful recommendations and tips uh, in an easy to digest kind of format because it allows other users to follow a curated flow of posts with like commentary that you add. Um, so they're kind of a cross between uh, Instagram carousels, which are when you post more than one photo and you kind of swipe through the photos, um, carousels and blog posts. So they can be created using posts from your personal account that you've created or other public accounts. Um, so think of them as individual albums or uh, groups of content that are collected into a single resource. Um, Instagram guides allow you to you know, group a mix of content into a relevant category. And that makes it really easy for your audience to quickly find um, and view that kind of content, view those posts, rather than scrolling through your entire feed, you know, looking for whatever they're trying to find more information on. Uh, and in my opinion, the nicest thing about guides is that they don't necessarily require you to make brand new content. They're perfect for repurposing content. Um, so in the example that I'm gonna share with you guys in a few minutes, I'll use an article from the Tucker blog to create a guide on our Instagram account. So to access guides, um, you're gonna visit an account's profile page, uh, just like I have the Tucker page pulled up here. Um, you're gonna select the guides icon. It kind of looks like a little newspaper. Um, guide on there uh, and then from there you'll be able to see all of the guides that an account has shared um, so here on this image in the right on the right i opened up one of the guides that we have created and when you open it up each guide you'll see has um, a cover image and a title um, and then there's a section for an introduction um, and then optional like as you add entries you can add descriptions about each entry So let's talk about how to create one. Uh, so from your profile, you're gonna click the plus symbol up in, in the upper right hand corner there and select guide from the list of options. Make sure you do it from your profile page. So when you're looking at your own account, your own feed, make sure you do click the plus sign from there. If you click the plus symbol from your feed where you're scrolling through and seeing other people's posts, you won't see guide as an option. Um, I don't know why that is, but <laughs> it is the way that it is. Um, so make sure you're doing that from your profile. So from there, after you select guide, you're gonna select a guide type. And so you have three different options here. You have places, you have products, and you have posts. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what each of those kind of are. Um, so which option do you go with? Um, so places, um, this is a really good option for uh, sharing love of just your local area, your neighborhood or uh, neighborhoods in which you sell. Uh, so places recommends, like this type of guide recommends places in your city and beyond. So think about th this as sharing your location-based recommendations from like city guides to restaurants, cafes, you know, whatever. They're location specific. So products then, um, products is a great way to, if you're looking to support local, 
um, this holiday season, you can highlight products from your favorite local businesses. Um, so this kind of allows you to curate content around um, specific products from businesses that you support. Um, a side note on the products guide type, this can only be used to curate products available in an Instagram shop. Um, so profiles, accounts, like when you, if you're selling items, like if you're a store, uh, you know, think Silver on the City, for example, uh, if they don't have the Instagram shop feature already set up, they won't, you won't be able to feature the products in this way. Um, you can definitely still use other guide types to feature businesses, but in order to feature specific products that you want um, to share with your following, you won't be able to do it unless that account has an Instagram shop set up. Um, so the third option for a guide type is posts. So this is good for connecting a lot of like several existing Instagram posts into one helpful guide. Um, so recommending posts that you've created or that you've saved. Um, so for example, if you, obviously you can use the posts that you've created, but if you are trying to use posts that others have created that you've saved, um, so for example, make, maybe you wanna make a guide around Sherwin-Williams recently announced their color of the year for 2022. Um, and that color is evergreen fog. It's a really pretty like gray, green color. So if I wanted to create an Instagram guide about this color of the year, but I haven't posted about it, but it's important and I want people to know about it, I can use other people's posts. So I could use posts from Sherwin-Williams or better homes and gardens or you know whoever is posting about it you save those posts and use them in a guide but write my own commentary on how i think you should use it in your home um, so you can still use other people's posts uh, for this one as well so for our purposes though, um, as I'm showing you guys how to use guides and how to create them, I'm gonna move forward with the places category. Um, it's November 1st and you know, Halloween is over and I officially have Thanksgiving on my brain. So I'm gonna use one of the articles from the Tucker blog uh, to create a guide on where to find the best pie in Indianapolis, um, local pie shops. So side note, um, like I said earlier, Instagram guides are great for repurposing content. And any of the content that you guys find on our social media pages or uh, the Tucker blog or Tucker toolbox, all of that is fair game for you guys to use and repurpose as you see fit. Um, like I said, I'm about to use a Tucker blog article to create a guide, and you can do the same thing with any blog article you find on the Tucker blog. And that goes for you know, postcards, social media posts, you know, anything like that, you're allowed to use that blog content um, and repurpose it in any way uh, that you want to repurpose it. So thanks for coming to my TED talk on that. And <laughs> then reuse the blog content. Um, okay, so after I have selected places as my guide type, I'm then gonna go ahead and type a location into the search bar here. Um, so the more specific your location, the better. Um, because I'm using the Tucker blog article in this particular circumstance, I'm going to type in a location from that article. So once you have selected your location, as you can see here, I typed in um, Pots and Pans Pie Co. Um, that's the first location on our blog article, so I typed that in the search bar. So after you've typed in your location, you can select up to five of the photos or videos that come up with that location tag. Um, so keep in mind that Instagram is gonna pull all public content from that location, um, not just any content that you have tagged there. It will be um, anything, any public facing post that um, is tagged at a certain location. So these photos are typically generated by other users um, that have tagged that location in their post. Um, don't worry about crediting the user in your um, guide, as I'll show you here in a minute. Instagram does that for you. It links the post, so um, it'll say who the post came from. So no need to you know, give credit to whatever photo that you used. 
I personally always try to uh, kind of select the most aesthetically pleasing uh, photos from the options just because it makes the it makes your guide look a little better and more put together if um, you know the photos are a little nicer. Um, so after you've made your selections on your uh, photo grid there, uh, so you can do up to five, but you don't have to do multiple. If you just want to do one or you do two or three, you know, any you can do up to five, but you don't have to do five. Um, so after you've made your selection, you're going to click next up there in the top right hand corner. And then you'll kind of see this template like I have on the right hand side, kind of a half of a guide. Um, so from there, you're going to add a title and a description of what your guide is about, um, along with some context for each location. Um, you know, like why did you pick this location? Uh, if you'd like, you can also add, you can add more locations with this add place here at the bottom. Um, you can also, the, so the cover image will be automatically generated, but you can click this uh, change cover photo um, to change that if you want. Um, so once you're satisfied with your guide, um, you have everything filled out and everything featured um, the way you want, you can tap next in this top right hand corner again. And from there, you'll have the option to either publish the guide um, or you can save it as a draft if you want to revisit the guide later. Uh, once your guide is published, then others will be able to see it and share it, uh, that kind of thing. Um, but once you publish it, it's not, you know, set in stone. You can still go back and edit it later on if you want to add a location or add a product or whatever. Um, so it's not set in stone once you publish, so don't worry about that. So um, after I've created my guide, I'm going to show you guys. So this links to the Talk to Tucker Instagram. So I'm going to go here to guides. And now you can see my guide that I just created right here. So if I click on it to open, as you can see, I changed my cover photo to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing. Um, so as I scroll through this, you know, I've added my introduction and each of my features. And I talk in each feature a little bit about, um, you know, why I selected it. So it goes on, you know, you can add as many locations as you want, but this is kind of what it looks like. So each, you know, like this one I have, multiple photos featured. Um, this one also has multiple, you know, but this one I just did one. And so like I was talking about earlier, don't worry about crediting uh, the Instagram user because see right here in this bottom left hand corner of the image, uh, you can see whose photo it is. So then when I click that photo, it actually pulls up the original post. Um, so no need to, you know, credit where you got the photo from. So yeah, that's kind of what the guide looks like then um, on our Instagram once it's been created. Uh, and yeah, you can kind of browse through. There's a couple on there if you want more examples. Okay, so that is kind of what the guide looks like. Um, so now, how can you use guides for real estate? Um, you know, real estate agents can, you can generate a ton of engagement uh, with these Instagram guides in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, if you've already invested time into creating lots of engaging content on your Instagram, guides are a great way to collect all of that information that you've created and kind of put it into one easy to read resource. But if you're just getting started on Instagram and haven't spent a ton of time on content, uh, that's totally okay too, because guides um, are a great way to start thinking about how you want to curate your content into a more cohesive, thoughtful way. Um, so no matter where you're at, uh, either way, Instagram gives you a good opportunity to kind of establish yourself as an authority, not only in local real estate, um, but in your local neighborhoods and online. Um, you know, so no matter the reason that you're creating Instagram guides, there are so many creative ways that you can use them to benefit both you, your followers, and any potential clients on Instagram. Um, so I put together some suggestions for how you can kind of implement each of these guide types into your real estate business. Um, obviously, you're not limited to whatever I have here on the screen, um, but these are just some ideas to hopefully get you started. 
Uh, so first up, the guide type is going to be places. Uh, so the obvious way to use this particular type is to showcase your favorite local businesses and hotspots. Um, I think this is a great option because you can add your own captions uh, within the guides like I showed you guys uh, to further explain why you like a certain place and therefore um, you know, establish kind of your unique take on your local area. Personally, I think that places is the easiest guide type to use um, because the possibilities really are truly endless. Um, you can do a lot with this guide type, in my opinion. Um, so some examples of how you could use places. Uh, obviously, you can change these locations to fit your particular like selling niche, but um, these are just some examples. So, you know, top five restaurants in Carmel or best coffee shops in Zionsville, best hiking spots near Indy, those kinds of things, all those like place oriented um, kind of topics. Uh, you could also do this for new construction commu communities. Uh, you know, new construction is obviously huge right now create a guide outlining one community or even multiple communities in your area so that as people are visiting your Instagram for more information, they can find a guide on new construction communities on the east side or the west side or whatever. Um, you could do this for a recommended vendors guide. Uh, you know, this is not only handy for your existing clients to reference, but this list can be really handy to stay in touch with past clients and build relationships with um, you know, your partners in the industry, um, you know, by featuring them, you know, you can support them in that way. Uh, you can also use this for neighborhood guides, you know, so maybe you create a neighborhood guide to give insight, uh, not only into the real estate aspect of the neighborhood, but, you know, the community around it, the lifestyle of the different neighborhoods that you sell in. You know, again, this will help you establish yourself as a real estate authority for that neighborhood just by, you know, showing off the knowledge that you have. You know, so for example, if you're selling in Butler Tarkington or uh, in Fountain Square, you know, what does each neighborhood offer be beyond just your listing? You know, what kind of, what does the culture look like, the lifestyle, what coffee shops are there, you know, that kind of thing. So the next product type we're going to, or the next guide type we're going to talk about is products. Um, so this format is fun uh, if you're trying to create a guide around holiday shopping lists, like this time of year is uh, fun to explore this as an option. Um, so when you select this format, Instagram will prompt you to choose um, or search for a certain brand instead of a certain location. Uh, so this one is a little trickier to use. Uh, like I said, because it's built by featuring items that are available in a brand's Instagram shop. Um, so like I said earlier, if a brand isn't selling its products on Instagram, you know, you'll be limited on what you can feature. I think this one is not only the toughest to use, but I think that it, you'll, you're probably less likely to use this guide type as you are um, the other two. But, you know, you still might use it. So I wanted to give some suggestions for that as well. So some examples of how you could use a product guide, um, holiday gift guide for new homeowners, um, top rated cleaning products. So you could feature the products from, you know, Mrs. Myers or Lysol or, you know, whatever cleaning brands you want to feature. Um, kitchen organization products, um, you know, favorite winter home products you know if you you could list out like blankets and different you know holiday decor items that are available for sale on instagram um, indoor plants for your home that kind of thing so think products that people can buy directly off of instagram um, and how you can kind of feature them on a shopping list so the last guide type I want to talk about, um, I know that we're over the 15 minute mark, but I promise I'm wrapping up here soon. Um, so the last guide type I'm going to talk about is for posts. Um, so the posts guide allows you to select your own posts or previously saved posts from other accounts. Um, so you can use this format to, you know, highlight your real estate listings, um, any closings you had, coming soon properties, 
Um, as long as you previously created an Instagram post of the image, you can add it to this guide type. Um, so, you know, it is all based on existing posts, not necessarily, you don't in any of the guide types have the opportunity to add your own photos. Um, so you need to make sure that you're using, you're planning and using posts that already exist. Um, so some examples of how you can use posts, uh, you could do current listings for sale, uh, sold listings that you had this fall. Um, you could, you know, feature listings of the month. This could be by neighborhood. You know, if you primarily sell in Carmel or Greenfield or Broad Ripple, you can feature certain listings that are available. Um, and since the and since, since Instagram automatically kind of credits the original user, you can use other people's listings. And so, you know, if I have a listing in Carmel that fits your guide of what you're trying to promote, you can use any post of mine because it'll automatically credit me. Um, you could also use this for, you know, top listings this year. You could do a 2021 recap of all the listings you've sold um, in one big guide. Another option, uh, create an informative series. Uh, so this could be a collection of tips around a certain topic, um, such as info for home buyers or sellers. Uh, for example, what every seller in XYZ area should know, um, that kind of thing. And then the last idea for this like post guide type is to introduce yourself or your team. Um, so you could create a get to know your realtor guide. Um, and this is your opportunity to reuse posts that you've created that highlight your personality or posts where you share more information about yourself. Um, if you're on a team, you could create a guide for each team member with information and posts about them so that um, people visiting your profile can get to know um, all of your teammates and get to know the people who might help them in a transaction, you know, during certain steps. So there are so many different possibilities for what you can do. Like I said before, no matter the reason that you're creating Instagram guides, there are lots of creative ways to use them to benefit both you and potential clients. So that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I know that we ran over a little bit on the promised uh, 15 minutes, but I hope that you guys found it beneficial. Um, so if you have any questions at all, I'll stick around here for a few more minutes and feel free to ask away. And if not, uh, enjoy the rest of your Monday and I'll see you next time. Awesome, Maddie. Thank you. I don't see any questions, um, but I just learned a lot. I didn't really know that this was a thing. I'm trying to figure out how we can use Instagram guides to promote listings. I think that would be cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, it doesn't look like there's anything in here. So enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. Have a good day.